Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your May 2018 reading. Generally my readings are love readings, we will just see whatever comes up. If one of these oracle cards flips out, you'll get to see it now. If not, we will save it for the end. I'm going to get two oracle cards, one from this deck, one from this one. And we'll break into the tarot deck for the month of May. Keep in mind that this may resonate now. This is being recorded April 16th. You know, generally I pick up the energies. And we're all on different phases. So, you know, it may resonate now, but it is intended for May. I would suggest that you come back and watch this in May to see, you know, what has happened. Because this is for May. But could resonate in April. May not resonate at all. But I would ask you to please give it a little bit of time. Cancer. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of May. What does Cancer need to know? Look at that. You got one. Upright. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. Accept. Accept a gift. Accept love. This is for the sign of Cancer. What does Cancer need to know for the month, the month of May 2018? What does Cancer need to know? You could be dealing with somebody who's only interested in financial stability. Okay, you may be dealing some, with somebody who is not all that loving at this time. Maybe they're just looking for somebody to take care of them financially. <coughs> you know, this person could be greedy. Now, I'm not sure if this is you taking on this energy or what, but you're dealing with somebody who is greedy and obsessive. Maybe they don't want to put in, they don't want to pay, they don't want to pay up perhaps, they don't want to give their amount of money, they don't want to give in. Oh, maybe it's just somebody's resisting a change here, holding on to something that isn't stable and secure. So I'm not sure if that's you or another person, but somebody is holding on to something that is materialistic. Somebody's not emotionally available here. They're not. Somebody is not in it emotionally. And you're on the fence about this, aren't you? And I feel like you have to make a very difficult decision. You know, I feel like there's a lot of fears here about... You know, you're probably being torn in two different directions. I don't know what to do. I feel like you're ignoring the truth about this person. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be another Pisces, or it could be another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But somebody is kind of ignoring the truth because they don't want to see the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to believe that this person could only be using them for money. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Yeah, there could be a lot of seduction there, right? There could be. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Do you base a relationship on seduction? You have to make a difficult decision here. Ah, this is like, there could be some break in a commitment. This is the commitment card. It's reversed next to the lovers. Somebody could be choosing to stay in a situation for the wrong reasons. It feels as though there's a lot of discontent here. And you're unable to master your emotions at this time. This is you. You're unable to master your emotions and take the lead because you don't want to accept this truth. I think you're caught in the middle of a situation you really don't know what to do. Trying to avoid it. You may be blocking your emotions. You're blocking uh, the truth. Even though I think you're dealing with somebody who is emotionally unavailable. Whether it's you or the other person. There's somebody in your life that is emotionally unavailable. They're unable to offer you a solid commitment. Although there's a lot of attraction there. Yes, there's attraction. But I think it's a seductive attraction. And they could be just attracted to you because of your money. Be careful. Because of your security. Yes. You know, I feel like the truth is here. This is karma. You're involved in a karmic situation right now. And you're being called to wake up. Wake up. Try to stay focused, okay? Try to stay, stay focused. I know that this person, whoever you're dealing with, is probably very, very attractive and seductive. But don't let that distract you from the truth. Somebody is distracted from the truth. I believe you could have... Well, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to just hold on to that thought for a second. You guys are not mastering your emotions. You've like lost yourself here. You've lost your willpower. You've lost yourself. In a situation... Because somebody has become detached and unavailable and you're being called to let go and stop sacrificing and stop holding on. But you're unable to accept the truth. You're, dist you're tr distracted by the truth because of the seductive nature of the, whoever it is that you're dealing with. But anyway, um, I feel as though you're being called to really wake up. Wake up. This is awakening. There's secrets. You're dealing with somebody who is keeping a secret, okay? And I think you know that they're keeping a secret. And you're being called to free yourself. You are. And I was, I was going to say that you're, you have somebody else, but I wanted to see what else was going to come. This right here is you need to free yourself from whoever this is that you're dealing with that is just after you for their, the material comforts that you can offer. You need to free yourself from this situation because all it's causing you is stress, anxiety, and sleepless nights. Okay? It's time to broaden your horizons. It's time for you to find your own backbone. Your own backbone. So that you can bring stability to your life. There's a lack of excitement here with whoever it is that you're dealing with a lack of passion because they're only interested in money and you're just you're concentrating on you feel really hurt over this this is quite disappointing isn't it it's very disappointing I feel like you guys are just all you can see right now is this huge loss this is such a loss because I, my heart was so in it I feel as though you have a lot of uh, regrets and the rejection from this person is, is totally killing you. You know what I mean? I mean, look at him. He can't even look up. I mean, he's totally looking like, I cannot believe this has happened. How could this happen? Distraught. I am distraught over this loss. And I feel like what's happened here is somebody is not 
content with the relationship. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody is a super discontent. There's, there's, it's true. We have the Four of Wands reverse, this one, and there's a lot of discontent here. And this Page of Cups, somebody's not happy in this relationship. And they're very, they're bored with it. They're not even seeing what's being offered. They're not, they're looking for something more. And I, I don't know if that's you or the other person, but somebody is really... They have a wandering eye and they're looking for something more. And it's causing you a lot of hurt, a lot of hurt. You're you're like really hurting over this whole situation. But it's time for you to do the right thing. There's a lot of karma here. You are involved in a karmic situation with both of these cards. You are. This is something you need to learn from. You're being called to do the right thing, to act with integrity and to accept this situation as it is and make a decision that you may not want to make i feel like there's definitely you need to bring balance back to your life things are out of balance right now because you're dealing with somebody who's not giving you what you want they're not reciprocating and i am so sorry you know your heart was in it 100 percent, and i can see that it was it really was but whoever you're dealing with has hidden agendas they had hidden agendas. This was complete. This this high priestess in reverse is somebody who keeps a lot of secrets. They're very secretive. And you have secrets down here too. You know, I feel like whatever is happening happened for a reason. There's a purpose. There's karma and destiny. I mean, we have karma, karma, destiny. This all happened because it needed to happen so that you could get to where you need to be, even if you don't want to, even if it hurts, okay? And I'm sorry to tell you that. So, I mean, with the Wheel of Fortune here, it says that there's a chapter that is ending, okay? A chapter is ending so a new chapter can begin. A new chapter that will lead to love. I think you have a new suitor, but you probably can't even see that right now. You can't see any new prospects because you are in pain you're in pain right now cancer that's what i see because you were dealing with somebody who was very secretive and they they weren't in it for for love like you were in it for love they weren't they weren't and it could be another scorpio pisces cancer um but it could also be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn either way the truth is coming out the truth is coming out. You are going to receive the truth or you know the truth already about this person. Even though you may have been trying to deny your intuition and deny your thoughts, you know. You know what's going on and you can only deny it for so long before you get a tower. The tower, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out before the tower comes and says, all right, you've denied it long enough. We're going to push you. We're going to change your life because you're not. I don't see the tower yet. We'll see what happens. But somebody is not wanting to listen to their intuition. And you may be feeling overly emotional about this heartache that you're going through. It's. I feel like there's a, a feeling of disgust here. You're dealing with somebody who didn't have your best interest at heart. And, you know, I feel like they've betrayed you in a very big way and you are just totally dumbfounded, okay? Uh, you know, I feel like at this point, it's about you need to let go of your ego, let go of your pride and start the healing process. Somebody has really hurt your pride. And you're refusing to take action. You're just thinking about it right now. You're not taking the action that you need to take. There, you're trying to. You're delaying it. You're stalling. All right. I believe you have two paths. You have to make a decision. Maybe the person that you're dealing with, you know, or you. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side, and it really, really wasn't. Okay. I feel like right now you're trying to decide, stay or go. Do I stay or do I go? Do I stay or do I go? What am I going to do? Do I stay or do I go? You're very restless. And I feel like you have a new opportunity waiting for you, but you're very indecisive. <laughs> what am I going to do here? So right now, it's a time of indecisiveness in May. You know what the truth is. Whether you accept it or not is an, uh, another whole story. 
you know, you may decide you want to fight a little bit longer for this because it's safe. It's safe. You know, it's not what I hoped. The grass didn't turn out to be green, but it's safe. I know it now. This is what I know. It's safe, right? But it doesn't lead to anything secure and stable. There's nothing solid here. You're not dealing with somebody who is offering you anything solid. You're dealing with somebody who's only interested, as the first card came out, this person is only interested in what you can give to them materialistically. That's it. When you get the king and queen of pentacles in reverse, you are dealing with somebody who is looking for you to take care of them financially and they are not interested in love at all. And then we have this queen of cups reverse. You're, somebody is not in love. But the financial security is so good that they will stay. But they may look outside elsewhere because they might think, you know, they may be looking elsewhere. I feel like you have a choice, like I said, between two paths. Do you stay or do you go? You do. You do. And I feel like there's an opportunity for somebody to come back from, to you from your past. Now, this doesn't mean somebody you slept with. This could be somebody from your hometown. This could be somebody from your school. This could be somebody that was an acquaintance This when you were a child. This could be somebody that you are very familiar with that you met in a past life. I believe that you have a new opportunity in love if... And this can go for, you know, however this resonates with you. There's a new opportunity in love with somebody that you have known before. But you have to move forward. You have to have no fear. You have to take the next step. You have to make a step. You have to take a step. You have to make a decision. You have to stop playing games. You have to absolutely make a decision to move forward from a situation with somebody that is emotionally unavailable. So that you can allow this new person to come into your life. There is a huge decisions that need to be made. Do you, do you ignore the truth or do you accept the truth? That's what this card is. Do you stay in the safest option or do you take the next step? You're in. There's some unhappy relationship here in which somebody is afraid to step out of their comfort zone because it's safe. But there's a lack of emotional commitment. There's a lack of love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. You're dealing with somebody who is not reciprocating. You may be dealing with somebody that is very withdrawn, cold, and detached. And they may be emotion blackmailing you emotionally so that you will take care of them financially. You are being called to s release this mental conflict and step outside of your comfort zone. Out of the safety zone. Because there's not a solid relationship here. Somebody has some secrets, big time. You don't know everything that's going on in their lives. They're not telling you everything. But if you want to live in illusion, their opportunity is here for you to live in an illusion. There could be a third party situation and you know it. And maybe it's time for you to get out there and have some fun. Maybe it's time for you to get out there and start dating. I feel like, you know, you are not going, a message is coming and you, this is not what you're going to want to hear. It's not. I think that you've been trying too hard to make something work and it's not working. It's not. 
there's definitely some conflicts here between you and another person. There could have been a third party situation that somebody is keeping from you, but you really know deep down inside your intuition is telling you there's a third party situation and you're ignoring it. Or this is if you're single, you're being called to go out there and have some fun and stop letting fear get in the way. There's an opportunity for new love here for all of you. If you were to accept the truth of a situation, somebody is using another person. Somebody's being used here. There's absolutely no doubt about it. So, receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. You deserve to be loved, Cancer. You deserve to get what you give. Storm warning. Oh boy, so we know what that means. There's a storm of brewing, and I use that in one of my daily vibes. You're about to get hit with a storm that'll probably change your life. Storms are messages. They're, they're, they're universally driven. So that, And this is like the tower. Remember I mentioned the tower? If you you've continue to ignore it and see what happens. I consider this like a tower card. The universe is going to come in to break down the old so that the new can come in because you're you're ignoring it. You're ignoring it. So a storm is on the horizon. If I was you, I would get prepared right now. Keep in mind, this is being recorded on April 16th. It could resonate now, anywhere through the end of April through May. You can't fight destiny. Talk to you later.